Trump and his MAGA Republicans are determined to destroy American democracy. Do you believe that the tens of millions of Americans who are likely to vote for President Trump will be voting against American democracy? The more they know about what he's done, yes. The more they know about what he's done. And there's a lot more coming. He's got a lot of cases down the road coming around. He's got, he's got a whole range of issues he has to face. I don't know what the juries will do, but I do, I do know he has a real problem. And so the fact that, could you ever think you hear any president say that I'm going to seek retribution? Did you ever hear any president say that I thought Hitler had some good ideas? What got me involved to run the first place after my son had died, I decided in Iraq, because of Iraq, I said I wasn't going to run again until I saw what happened in Charlottesville, Virginia. People coming out of the woods carrying swastikas on torches, torches, and, and singing the same anti-Semitic bile they sang when back in Germany. And what the, and the young woman got killed. I spoke to the mother. And she, they asked him, they said, what, what, what do you think of those people? The people who, the ones who got killed, the one who tried to stop it, and the ones he said, I think they're fine people on both sides. What American president would ever say Nazis coming out of fields, carrying torches, singing the same anti-Semitic bile, carrying swastikas, were fine people. And this is a guy who says Hitler's done some good things. I'd like to know what they are. The good things Hitler's done, that's what he said. This guy has no sense of American democracy. President Trump. Jake, both of you know that story has been totally wiped out, because when you see the sentence, it said, 100 percent exoneration on this. So he just keeps it going. He says he ran because of Charlottesville. He didn't run because of Charlottesville. He ran because it was his last chance. It, it, he's not equipped to be president. You know it, and I know it. It's ridiculous. We have a debate. We're trying to justify his presidency. His presidency he's, he's without question, the worst president, the worst presidency in the history of our country. We shouldn't be having a debate about it. There's nothing to debate. He made up the Charlottesville story, and you'll see it's debunked all over the place. Every anchor has, deb every reasonable anchor has debunked it. And just the other day it came out where it was fully debunked. It's a nonsense story. He knows that. And he didn't run because of Charlottesville. He used that as an excuse to run. President Biden. And debunk. It happened. All you have to do is listen to what was said at the time. And the idea that somehow that's the only reason I ran. I ran because I was worried a guy like this guy could get elected. If he thought they were good people coming out of that, all, that forest, carrying those, those woods, carrying those torches, then he didn't deserve to be president. Didn't deserve to be president at all. And the idea that he's talking about all this being fabricated, we saw with our own eyes. We saw what happened on January 6th. We saw the people breaking through the windows. We saw people occupying the his own vice president. Look, there's a reason why 40 of his 44 top cabinet officers refused to endorse him this time. His vice president hasn't endorsed him this time. So why? Why? They know him well. They serve with him. Why are they not endorsing him? Thank you, President Biden. We're going to be right back with more from the